Hello, I'm Rosie Goodwin, I'm a saga author and I've just completed my 30th novel. I don't know if I always wanted to be a writer, but I've always written and loved writing. I suppose I never thought I was good enough to be published, so for many years I didn't even attempt it. I actually wrote my very first novel sitting in a touring caravan in our back garden with all the dogs, long hand. So that was the first one. And then I got the bug. I have lots of favourite novels. I read at least probably one and a half, two books a week of someone else. Catherine Cookson was my all time hero or heroine. I absolutely loved her books, her earlier books particularly. I rarely have a day off, perhaps Christmas day. And sometimes, if if I if I can, Boxing Day. But I don't have a set day off, and I think that helps because you're keeping into it. You know? I think when you're an author, you tend to people watch. Travelling up and down to London is my favourite time if I go alone, because you can sit in a corner and be very quiet, and 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 just little manner, mannerisms of people. They don't know it, but they're probably going to end up in in a book somewhere. My dogs are very spoiled, they're our babies. We have five. Um, we have three Shih Tzus and two Chihuahuas. They're all room rotten. They have a chicken dinner every day. We never go out without them or on holiday without them if we can avoid it. Um, they sleep with us. They're my babies. The days of the week comes from the old rhyme, um, Sunday's child um, is good and gay, bonnie and blithe, which was our mothering Sunday. Wonderful character, I loved, I loved writing that book. And it was also my Sunday Times bestseller, so I was really thrilled with that. And then we've got The Little Angel, a totally different character in it. Although it's the series, it doesn't necessarily one follow on from another. There will be characters that people recognise from previous books, but they're each a completely different story and they're completely standalone. A Mother's Grace is about um, a young woman who is the daughter of a judge. Um, not a very nice judge. He's actually known as the hanging judge. Grace, who is the main character in it, she does actually um, agree to become a nun. Um, but let's just say that things go rather wrong and her life takes a very different turn to what she'd expected. Mm -hmm.